Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line. Please abide in my again for 23 wins. That is how you start a streak. We're not trying to start a streak. Or that's how you start a seed, I should say. Too many words with S's and E's and... Ooh, Spider Babby combined with the D8. Good damage chance to start, to start uh, F914D0QC. Um, so, ooh, this is interesting. The D4, sorry, the D8, if, in my defense, it's basically just like two D4 smashed together. Yes, NL, I understand your rudimentary knowledge of geometry aside. Um, this is a bit of a dangerous start. I think that's probably pretty obvious, you don't need me to tell you that. I actually think the D8 is a wonderful item. Similar to most of the dice items, or the die items, depending on whether or not you're... You know, speaking with the modern colloquialism, or you're playing Reaper in Overwatch, the die, die, die items. Um, it's it allows you to roll to your own satisfaction. I'm being a little bit of a little baby boy. Baby wants this bottle. Be a little bit of a little baby wants this bottle. Because I'm not going to re-roll yet, and the reasoning for this is HP is a little dangerous, especially with Bob's brain. I kind of want to toe the line because love is in all. Okay, I'm getting a little too hyperactive here in the early. Um, in the early goings of this episode. Tone it down a little bit. Have you guys heard of Roth IRAs? You know, I'm normally like... It, it might strike you from listening to this. And I'm not trying to insult or, you know, stigmatize anybody that does have, you know, ADD or ADHD. It might strike you that I'm that kind of person, but actually, for the most part, sometimes I just feel a little silly. I find it very easy to focus for the most part, as long as I put on, you know, Brian Eno's Music for Airports Volume 1. Basically, you can sit me down in front of, you know, the most boring treatise in academic history, and I'll make a go of it, at least. I, I don't get distracted as easily as you might expect here. Um, but, I guess I'm, I'm feeling in a good mood, you know? It's like 1 p.m. I woke up this morning. Uh... On my born day, I'm 20, uh, the blessing of adolescence leaves my body, and I'm sweating. My physical frame is celebrated because I made it a quarter through life. Svengali, like Vane created, it, you know, Life's a Bitch by Nas. That part of the song is not really Life's a Bitch, but, uh, you know, I woke up, I had a nice uh, coffee. I Now I've chosen to reroll my stats, and it still seems pretty good, actually. I uh, went for a nice bike ride, and now I'm, I'm back, and I'm feeling good, and I honestly don't think we use the Hermit card. I think we just head down to the next floor and feel pretty good about where we stand right now. I'm feeling energized, man. This is like a very... It's the kind of thing where I've, I've been there, and I, I am there at many points in my life where I like have no interest in exercise at all. And people go, man, you don't realize how much more energy you have when you're actually exercising instead of sitting on your ass all day. And then, as someone who sits on my ass all day, you know, you go, Yeah, wh why don't you shove it up your ass, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Like, it's a... Yeah, I think we will take Book of Revelations. You know, like, we, yeah, okay, you already got the abs, well, you gotta brag about how much energy you have as well, but, you know, when you get out there, it is largely true. It's like one of, the, one of life's great paradoxes, that sometimes just getting your body moving a little bit makes you feel better and more energetic for the rest of the day. It's like if, you know, driving your car more often made it better on fuel economy or something like that. I don't know if it's supposed to make sense or or what, but either way, you know, here we are. So famine should be super easy to kill. Um, all we're gonna need to do is land one Bob's brain and then probably just finish the job here. Yes, we are gonna get rid of the D8. Book of Revelations is just, it's too good to pass up, basically. We have one HP, uh, and we'll use that HP to take the goat head. And honestly, I think we will use the Hermit card immediately, even though it's a bit of a um, Suboptimal use in many considerations for a teleport card. It saved us a key, and thus we can use this key in the future to, uh, you know, do something else. But for now, I'm, I'm really pleased with where we're at here. As long as we can continue to amass spirit hearts, uh, life's good. We can't afford to go into that arcade, unfortunately. Let's try this. I was just going to say, because of the fact that we um, are out of spirit hearts, there's a much better chance, or at least a... a chance that it's a health upgrade, although I guess with one HP it would have been a health upgrade nonetheless, so we definitely should have saved our teleport card for um, this situation right here. We're about to get a spirit heart though, so I think you just say we use this, go in here, 
Hopefully one of these is a teleport card or a hero font or something so it pays for itself, but we'll see. Ooh, we got the half heart at least, and there is, uh, there's actually two, and I think I will use them. You might think, you know, it might be better... I don't really care about a mysterious baby, honestly, and by mysterious, I mean multi-dimensional. And if you're gonna tell me that that's not, uh, mysterious, what's more mysterious than being from multiple dimensions? What does that mean? Is there, like, a wormhole situation where you can travel back and forth between them? I don't know. We're on the Caves 1 pretty early on here with, uh, honestly, a really nice assortment of, uh... Of items here, both offensively and defensively. This room is horrible. It's pretty bad when it contains... Yeah. Pretty bad when it exclusively contains the heads that shoot uh, bullets. But when you throw in the heads that have uh, the Ipecac shots, it just renders like a little bit more of the map completely unusable. I'd really like to land... <sighs> if we landed Bob's brain in there, we could have so easily gotten um, some of that money. But honestly, this run is really good offensively. And it stands to get a lot better offensively based on the fact that we have, uh, we have Goathead. And then, what else would we be hoping for on top of that? I mean, if, if via the deal with the devil on this floor, we can get, uh, Dark Bum, I think we've basically won. Too many Spirit Hearts coming our way, and, um, with Bloody Penny, we can just get so, so many more, uh, Red Hearts, turn those into Spirit Hearts or Spiders. At this point, it's, it's fairly... Nah, that was bad. It's fairly irrelevant, you know, which one we get. But in the future, one of them may be more valuable than the other, whether we're at full HP or otherwise. Um, two keys, of course we will go to our... Uh, be careful here. Of course we will go to our item room. It's kind of the bedrock of most runs. I'm telling you, that Dark Bomb pickup. I'm, I'm Mr. Zany. But I don't... I think the Dunce Cap may make it into... That very, very narrow subset of items that NL just says, don't touch this one. You know, it's like, marked. The only time I'm ever going to get marked is Curse of the Blind or on a reroll. I feel like Dunce Cap has made it into that, uh, into that group now. As much as it's going to pain people to say, Oh, NL, you fell off, man. Where do you think my gold records went? I sold them all? Doctor, the jury of doctors. PhD. He's got his PhD in Reganomics. Um, we're gonna fight the boss, and I'll tell you what, after we fight the boss, we'll make a decision. But I do think Dunce Cap is, unlike Soy Milk, which is, like, funny bad because it's strange, I feel like Dunce Cap is just bad bad. That's not to say there's not some synergies where it's good, but it's like all the shittiness of Conjoined without any of the beauty. Absolutely little brim. Does this make it more likely that we take Dunce Cap? No, I don't think so. I think we just ignore Dunce Cap. I, know, I apologize for those of you out there who, uh, who disagree with that decision, but that's the way I'm going to choose to handle it. Uh, I think this is well worth it. We, it's one key to open three stone chests. This should give us, like, literally a key, hopefully, which it did. And then it also gave us a guppy item. But we lose out on Book of Revelations. I'm, a, I'm relatively happy with, uh... A second level bandage girl, you know, we not only get the orbital, but the charm. Probably would have rather had a, a random boss item from this last floor if I'd known that we would get rid of it on this floor, but it doesn't matter too much, and I really like Guppy's head as far as, uh, as far as room clearers go. Or room aiders, at least, but, uh, I gotta admit that part of this is also me being like, the run's pretty strong, let's rebalance it away from good defense and hopefully towards better offense, which I think is a little bit more exciting to watch. And also, uh, it, it adds some stakes back into the game, and I'm not talking about T-Bones. I'm not talking about Tri-Tips. I'm talking about um, Las Vegas, baby! That was very stupid of me right there. Should not be taking damage in that situation. So what's our path to victory now? Well, not getting hit so much. And then, uh, I mean, of course, Dark Bomb is, is a big one if we can manage to swing it, but assuming we can't, which seems like a, a safe assumption, I think it's like, you know, 30% we get it, 70% we don't, given the number of items in the game, and, you know, one of these deals with the devil is probably going to be Krampus, etc., etc. Um, one way that we do it might actually just be a lot of Red Hearts, honestly. Uh, a lot of Red Heart containers, I should say. So be very careful, there you go, with, uh... Bob's brain, you want to get that out of there. HP? 
Not HP, but damage. Krampus would be perfect here. It's not Krampus, but there is Dark Judas. I feel like you take Dark Judas and we can make some big plays here. Whatever this cost us in terms of Spirit Hearts, I don't really care about. But um, ideally we go to the shop, the shop has a Spirit Heart, we kill ourselves to grab the Spirit Heart, respawn with double damage, and, and all of a sudden uh, our, our damage is definitely not in question anymore. Also means that on this floor we can basically take as many risks as we want. Uh, if we get a second guppy item here, I would be thrilled, man. This is like the perfect floor to leverage uh, our HP for some guppy transactions. Sadly, that will not be the case. We do have two pills, though. Uh, I don't recognize one of them. That doesn't mean that I shouldn't recognize it. I just don't recognize it right now. Of course, I have uh, a pillsia. You know, the uh, Isaac disease where you don't recognize pills you've already seen. It's very tragic. Over one of us in the world suffers from it every year. Friends till the end in puberty, not bad. At least to, you know, learn a little bit about the, the world that we're in here. Let's throw this down, see what we got in our item room. It is Key Beggar, which is really bad, but we're going to get it regardless because it could give us the Super Bomb transformation. And we have Greed! And I took some dumb damage, but I guess we're happy to have, uh, to have more money. But apart from that... We're pretty much done with the caves, too. I'm trying to keep up a pretty good pace here. Uh, keep ourselves, you know, in the running for boss rush. This is really where I have to make a big decision, though. And that decision is, do we go with um, Book of Revelations or do we go with Guppy's Head? I think the answer is that we're going to go with Guppy's Head. But I want to leverage this floor for Book of Revelations as much as possible. But if we're going to leverage this floor for Book of Revelations as much as possible, we should get ourselves killed so we respawn as Dark Judas. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of a gamble by coming into this room. I don't know what our HP. Okay, we died coming into that room. Um, so now we're Dark Judas. Grab this. Grab this. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna stick with Book of Revelations. I'm gonna stick with Book of Revelations, but I'm gonna go into the cursed room. And the, if you want something to blame here. Well, if all else fails, you can blame it on... Whoa, that could have been a little... Oh, you dick! You took my key! Um, if all else fails, you can blame it on me, but... Apart from that sly uh, reference to the Bare Naked Ladies, Canada's Pop Princes, uh, we're going to blame it on Curse of the Unknown, which has me freaking out about my HP. I should have two and a half, three and a half right now. But we're going to head down to the next floor. I'm a little worried that it's getting almost too glass cannony. Not glans cannon. Have you been reading my fan fiction? Um, we're gonna, we're just gonna bet safely on this one, as much as it makes me feel like a little baby wants his mommy. But I can't deny it's, uh, it's probably the right decision. It's the decision everybody else would have made. So you know what? I'm gonna stop acting like I should be ashamed of making the popular decision here. I'm still hip. I'm still with it. Taka 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 taka. I guess the second you reference Austin Powers, you're no longer, like, hip or with it, unfortunately. Uh, we don't know this pill. Relax. Not a big deal. Just waiting for a good opportunity to pop the death card, and I think that was probably it right there. You're not dead? Oh my god! Two champions. I don't even have any levels of curse yet. Wrong game. Tears up. Lovely. Had a lot of choices when it comes to our spacebar items so far. Sometimes you finish a run, and you have had zero choices the entire run. You're just finishing with no spacebar item. This time we've had, uh, we've had a number of choices, and they've all been pretty, like, choice. I think you just buy the spirit art and the key and get the heck out of here. Um, wait, what's the pill? We don't know. One makes you larger. I don't know. Considering our finances... I don't feel that bad about paying five cents to discover what that pill was, but it wasn't that good. Um, like, D8 totally could have been a viable decision for us to roll with here. We will also, as a result of Book of Revelations, get um, what appears to be a third level bandage girl here, which is really good. Fourth level is, you know, the icing on the cake. If we can get it, great. If we can't, life goes on. We have no red hearts, so this is still a good floor to fight Krampus on, and Lump of Coal would be lovely, and we did get Lump of Coal. Okay, our shot speed is good enough to... Make that pretty fantastic. Still gonna look around for our uh, item room. For sure. 
You never know, we could get Dark Bomb in our item room. After this, though, we're probably gonna go. I've already been to the shop. Milk, as many people have told me, lowers your tear delay, so I should stop being uh, a little bitch whenever I pick it up and say, Oh, it's milk. Whoa, thank God we got holy water. One makes you small. Look, I'm not trying to be rude. But hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you. The way you do the things you do reminds me of my, Ale my Lexus too. That's why, in case you were wondering, I'm all up in your grill trying to get you to a hotel. You must be a football coach the way you got me playing the field, so let me give you that doo-doo. You know, R. Kelly remixed to it. That song's from 2003. Don't try to play it like, oh... All right, Granddad. Thanks for the R. Kelly reference. That is the R. Kelly song that, you know, the the hip intelligista of this generation can still get down with. They're like, I only listen to Serge Gainsbourg, The Ballad of Melody Nelson, and then also, I will hit the dance floor if Ignition, open parentheses, remix comes on. But that's where I draw my line. Uh, I don't think we're going to pick up that nickel. I don't think we benefit from picking up the nickel. We can donate on this floor if we get a shop that doesn't have super greed or greed. Uh, I don't know if it can have greed. or Yeah, I don't know if it can have greed because we already uh, fought greed, but we'll see. Admittedly, kind of the ideal situation for us here might be to get so strong with our deal with the devil item that... Uh, we actually want to do boss rush because we'll get so many charges on Book of Revelations as a result, but... The odds of that happening are pretty low. We need to get, like, a really good item room, possibly really good shop, and then good deal with the devil, and then maybe good boss rush as well. I know that it, it, it's a lot of hoops to jump through. It has happened, though. Brother Bobby is not what we needed here. We will take Chaos, which I think could be fun, and that has given us a Yara rune. Uh, I, I think why not get this as well. Okay, two of diamonds. At least allows us to buy the... Uh, the spirit heart there, and now we could probably move on. Whether or not we end up doing boss rush still remains to be seen, but I have to admit that having now received this Yara rune, the odds are a little lower. I, I definitely, like, I need a card that takes me out of the boss area, like an Emperor, Moon, Hermit, Fool, etc., etc. Or I'd, I'd probably do it for a Telepills, but there's no way I'd know it's Telepills until we already, you know, went in there. So I think we'll probably just, you know, keep up the pace and uh, beat Mom. See what we get from our deal with the Devil. We don't really need the shot speed. I still, I hold out hope that one day Bloody Penny is going to be, like, amazing for us. Obviously, it hasn't happened yet. Stay far away. We're good. Grab this, the Polaroid. Uh, oh, right. Thanks to Chaos. I don't know if we actually want any of these. Deals with the Devil are no longer what they used to be. Uh, contract from below, mystery sack, able bum friend. You definitely go contract from below there, unless you want to go, you want to hedge your bets and try to get, like, super bum, at which point you take, uh, bum friend, but I don't think either of those are, ooh, that was bad, really justifiable. So, it's a little boring, unfortunately, that we got chaos, you know, just before the item pool is going to dry up a bit, but... I'd do it again! You never know what you're gonna get over here. This is, like, striking me right now as a pretty, like, technically proficient run. I've taken a lot more damage than I'd like... To... Taken a lot more damage than I'd like to admit, but... From a decision-making standpoint, I think we've done the right thing. Like... We're, uh... We're sitting on seven spirit hearts... With Book of Revelations. As boring as it might be from, like, a... You know, character sheet standpoint. It's a smart decision. You know, we're... We're over here, uh, holding it down. Chaos could allow us to get some interesting stuff going as well, but, uh... I think from an intellectual standpoint, I'm really glad I didn't stick with Guppy's head. I think if we'd stuck with Guppy's head, we would possibly be in hell right now. But I will admit, you know, Dark Bum wouldn't be the worst thing. If you'd like to make Dark Bum show up, I'd be really happy about it, because Dark Bum's... Like, it's something that I'd be really interested in seeing right now. So if you want to give me, uh, Dark Bum, I'd be really happy about it. Nice. Just want to kill these enemies very far away from myself. There is a Tinted Rock over there, but we don't have the ability to fly. 
Good to keep in mind, though, because if we get a three-spirit heart uh, deal with the devil that allows us to fly... Doesn't have to be a deal with the devil. It could literally be in a golden chest at this point. I guess fate can always be in a golden chest, but you, you get what I'm saying. Um, smart idea. Real real intelligent there. Um, watch out for the spikes here. Are the spikes still going to go? Yes. Dang, I didn't want that key anyway. Um, but if we find a three spirit heart deal with the devil that allows us to fly, we can probably get one spirit heart back immediately. Maybe. Do you want to gamble on that? It's, it's debatable, I think. Because if it doesn't pan out and you took yourself down to like half a spirit heart to do it, then, you know, the, things could get worse for you before they get better. Or they may never get better, because you'll be dead. That is a cautionary tale for you. That's I've, I've talked a lot about PSAs recently. Because I think that they're, you know, you always gotta, you gotta feel for the people that make the PSAs. Because, like, 10-year-olds, 12-year-olds, no offense out there if you're watching, but you don't understand consequences yet. You wonder why, like, your parents are anxious all the time? It's because their adult brains are fully formed and they understand the consequences of the real world. Are they maybe a little bit, uh, you know, overly, you know, believing in the media and thinking that, you know, you know you're going to get abducted when you walk down to the corner, corner store? Yeah, uh, maybe, you know, there's, there's probably some fairness to that. However, at the same time, they understand, you know, the, the consequences of the real world. We don't really want any of this, unfortunately. Um... If you tell a kid, hey, don't drink paint, you'll die. The kid's like, yeah, whatever. I was watching TV, they told me not to drink paint. I was like, yeah, whatever. Because this is my United States of whatever. You know, pe people really do, especially up to a certain age. And that certain age is different for everybody. A lot of people have an attitude of like, wow, they're telling me not to do something. I should try it out for myself. No offense meant because I've been in this boat myself. But we're all idiots. Just like that Our Lady Peace song. We are, we are all idiots. We are all... Anyway. Um, so the PSA maker already has a, a big window of, like, opportunity that's hard to clean. It's hard to Windex. This analogy is falling apart. If you tell a 12-year-old kid, don't do this, your chance of getting cancer go up by 50%. They go, I like those odds, you know? Like, whatever, it's cool, worth it. So, I think you've really got to... One way to do PSAs is to be like, people are going to judge you. You know, societal pressure works. The other way to do PSAs is to just lie. And I'm not saying this is moral or ethical, but I'm just saying maybe it would work. What if they were like, if you take PCP, your dick is going to fall off. And then they got adults to be like... You know, on the screen, like, I took PCP and my dick fell off. How does it work for the ladies? Ladies don't take PCP. Don't be ridiculous. I don't know if that's true. Um, that's, that's an overly reductive way of looking at the situation, probably. And then, you know, we could get doctors to forge medical journals saying, yeah, in 110% of cases where someone took PCP, their dick fell off. That's the way we should actually do it. And then, in 20 years... I don't know if we go through with this. I, I don't think we do. We don't have more deals of the devil coming. And I took HP like an idiot. Or I took damage like an idiot. In 20 years we go, remember that whole PCP makes your dick fall off stuff we were talking about? Yeah, I mean, we sort of embellished that, but we did it to halt the PCP. You know, rise of PCP usage. And then I think people would be like, look, I don't like being lied to. I think it's important that a democratically elected government be honest with its people. But at the same time, I understand where you're coming from. Good job. We've all still got our dicks and nobody's taking PCP. Most successful ad campaign in drug PSA history. PCP makes your dick fall off. Well, we totally could have taken Guppy's Paw. As long as we kept it. But would we have kept it? Probably not. Um, that the health up pill basically translates to three spirit arts, which we would have paid, and then we would have had a better chance to get Guppy. As a result, you get the idea. But there's no way we could have known that. I, I really am cognizant of the fact that I'm playing, you know, Dad's most boring game of Isaac here. Let's get Book of Revelations, and then you know, slow our financial burn rate so we're not losing too much HP here. You know, gotta put uh, money away from my kid's college education. What a loser, Dad! If you put money away in a Roth IRA, your dick falls off. All right, this is now becoming a dystopian society. Did you hear the news? 
Not voting for Party X makes your dick fall off. I don't know if I believe it, but can we afford to test it? I don't want my dick to fall off. The sun card. Heck yeah. Um, let's use it immediately. We now know exactly where to go. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go straight to the boss fights. Really quick run today, for sure. I mean, mostly thank you to, like, Little Brimstone for making that a reality. Uh, we are gonna use the Arrow Rune, which I need to go back for. Thank God I actually thought about it. I'm not... A clever man, but at least I had the wherewithal to be like, well, then we're, we're we holding something that could be potentially important here in our future? And the answer to that question is yes. It's looking real darn likely we're going to get to 24 wins in a row. Which effectively means we've won 49 out of the last 50. Might not seem that impressive. Uh, hold up. That's a 98% win rate. In most... I don't think there's a single class on planet Earth that I'd be disappointed if I got 98 in it. Even if you gave me, like, a 100-question test of third-grade mathematics, if I got it back from the teacher, I'd be expecting 100. But if I got 98, I'd be like, come on. If you're doing this, even 2% of the time is a pretty nice margin of error. If I gave you 100 arithmetic questions, like 100 addition questions, you got 2 out of 100 wrong, I'd be like, you know what? You're still invited back for the group interview. All right. Black Lotus actually was a terrible choice there. <laughs> My bad. Wow, what a what an incredible selection of items I don't give one fucking shit about. We're not taking Cursed Eye here. Let's see what our trinket is. It could be valuable. Um, AAA battery? I mean, it is it is better than uh, the other things we've got going on here. I guess we could start to use Converter like crazy here if we wanted to. I don't... Re it, it's very unlikely to matter. I guess is where I was running the numbers in my head. I'm like, oh, would I rather have red hearts or spirit hearts? Well, I guess I'd rather have red hearts because we do have the uh, bloody penny back there. But it's so unlikely to matter that I really can't muster much enthusiasm to to even do the math to figure out, you know, if if it's worth doing the change. So for now, I think I'm just gonna continue to roll business as usual. And if we have to get more creative with it, we'll get more creative with it. But for now, um, very very unnecessary. Well, that was idiotic to take that much damage, but... We should also, you know, be stoked. This is one of the very few runs on which we've gotten a 4th level Bandage Girl. That happens extraordinarily rarely. Probably this is like the 5th or 6th time it's happened, and it's been in the game since Rebirth came out, which is almost 2 years ago now. Fuck, that's crazy. Um, sure, take Friend Zone. I think we're pretty far away from getting Beelzebub, but why not, uh, you know, give it the old college try here. Probably should go for the tarot card. Okay, I literally killed those guys in the exact opposite order of uh, desirability. We could have at least gotten the syringe. As long as we land Dark... Or not Dark Bomb, Bob's Brain. That's the important thing there. Still doing totally fine on HP. I'm not really interested in using a key... Whatever, we'll kill these guys in the opposite order. And use it in, in walking all the way back there, I figure we'll probably have a chance to get a chest just drop, you know, the old-fashioned way here. I gotta say, this is gonna be like a sub-28 minute run, at the very worst. That's really solid for a run in which we didn't get, like, anything super spectacular. Like, it, in, it's weird, our stats are great, but I'm also kind of like, you know, it's not that impressive of a run, is it? Just kind of like a, a, it feels like a decent run, but obviously by the length of time it took us to beat, uh, it, it's better than a decent run. Turn that dial all the way, launch me like a rocket into space, better than a decent run. It, it sort of makes sense. Better than a decent run, what is, is that deaf, <laughs> deaf leopard? It doesn't sound right when I say that. I only know, I can only think of three Def Leppard songs, if that's one of them. Loving every minute of it. There's also, obviously, Pour some sugar on me, in the game of love. I'm hot, sticky, sweet, oh, from my head down to my feet now. Which is like, dude, take a shower. Um, well, I'm glad we came back. And by glad, I mean somewhat disappointed. Because, uh, we have picked up 
that's key. I guess we're gonna go find Mega Satan. And if this is the end of the streak right here, that'd be a really funny way for it to go. But I'm pretty sure that we're totally set. At least, at the last possible moment, we were saved from a slight degree of boredom. Yo, like, I love you. Fourth level bandage girl. But if you would, please consider attacking the face of Mega Satan. Mega Satan's weird now, man. Sometimes he follows patterns that no longer make sense to me. Like, I'm like, this is not how Mega Satan used to be. He didn't used to spawn minions at the start of the fight. He used to wait until you destroyed his head for the first time, and then he spawned minions. I re There's something to this conspiracy theory that they're, you know, patching the game clandestinely, adding weird shit in it. I swear to you, we did not encounter arcades that just had beggars or beds in them. Until, like, three months ago. Now they show up on the regular. On the regular. We'll be making love under the regular. That, it doesn't really... Well, I mean, there's many reasons it doesn't work. One of which is my uh, singing voice. So far, so Gucci, though. You might say, don't say that. That only makes me want to say that more. Oh, okay. We're about to enter the final phase here. We actually are doing a lot of damage. I thought at first maybe it was spawning minions because we weren't doing very much damage, but uh, we're doing fine on the damage department. It's not the fastest Mega Satan run we've ever had. It also ended up making a liar out of me. We're no longer uh, on a sub-28 minute run. It's going to be like a 29 minute run. Oh, well. First phase of Mega Satan is done. I didn't expect to be fighting Mr. S here, you know? But we haven't been hit yet, so if we flawless him, we pick up the, uh, you know, the gun mastery, and that gives us one more HP container. We take that down to the bullet hell fight, and then life's great. Okay, land Bob's brain, then sneak in there. I don't really care if we get hit at this point. I just want his face to get as scarred as my heart is that didn't really make any sense either for now though thanks for watching that's win 24 i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did click the like button it helps out a great deal of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now thanks for watching and i will see you next time